Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. This week I want to talk with you about Azure Application Insight, which is an APM application performance management service provided by Microsoft Azure. With Azure Application Insight, you can do monitoring of information about your applications. And you can do that using an instrumentation package. And out of the box, there are plenty of platforms supported, like for example, .NET, Java and JavaScript, Node.js, Python, and so on and so forth. You use Azure Application Insight to do monitoring of events, data and custom data, properties and metrics. And you use that to do uh, detection and diagnosis of issues and exceptions in your solutions, as well as to analyze and to measure metrics of your applications. You can do monitoring of a bunch of information, including, uh, for example, exceptions that can occur during the execution of your code, as well as of custom events uh, to do proper custom monitoring of your solutions. When you collect data using uh, Azure Application Insight, you can later on analyze that data using Visual Studio, using Power BI, using the REST APIs provided by Azure Application Insight, or even using the continuous export of data to have a continuous monitoring of your performances. So let's move to the demo environment and let's see how to use Azure Application Insight in a .NET solution. So here I am uh, in the Azure Management Portal and it is the main dashboard uh, for the Azure Application Insight service. Whenever you access this page, you can see a bunch of useful uh, uh, statistics about the failed request, the server response time, the server request number, and the availability of your service of, or of your application. Moreover, here on the left side, uh, you can search uh, for specific uh, events uh, and I can simply get all of the events of the last 24 hours and as you can see here I have a couple of custom events uh, which are the event for my application started and my application executed as well as uh, a custom exception that I have uh, in my uh, sample solution that I will show you shortly. So whenever you want to log uh, custom information like the start of your application and the exact date and time of starting the application and the execution time you can do that using a custom event as well as you can log uh, exceptions or other useful stuff uh, to do proper moni monitoring of your application. For example here where I have the monitoring of an exception and the tracking of an exception I also have uh, the exception details uh, and a bunch of custom properties like a custom ID and a custom property for my exception uh, event. In order to do that, uh, in my custom.net application, I just created the sample console application that you see. And in this one, uh, in the new get packages, I installed the Microsoft.ApplicationInsight uh, new get package. Uh, by doing that, I will be able to use the telemetry client object. Uh, and here I have uh, in my console application uh, the lazy of the uh, construct uh, to create uh, a singleton uh, pattern for my telemetry client instance. So whenever I access for the very first time the telemetry client, uh, I will simply read from the settings, application settings of my application, the instrumentation key, which is the unique ID of my application inside instance, uh, and I will use it to create a new instance of the telemetry client object. Moreover, I can configure some custom properties like I do here, like the session ID for the session I'm monitoring, uh, the role instance of the cloud service that I'm using, even if this is a sample uh, console application and not a real cloud service, uh, the uh, running operating system, uh, the assembly that I'm using and the version of the assembly of my solution that I'm using, and so on and so forth. So I can configure a bunch of uh, uh, generic properties for my tracking. Moreover, in my solution, uh, I have the main uh, uh, method for my console application, and there I create a few custom uh, telemetry properties through a dictionary, as you can see right here, and I set up a fake custom ID and a fake custom property just for the sake of showing you how to do that. Uh, once I've done that, 
Using the telemetry client instance, I can track an event and I can provide the name of an event, which is, for example, the application started of the application executed or completed if I want to track uh, the performances of my application. But I can also call a fake failing method like I do here, in which I will simply throw an exception. And by throwing an exception in the catch constructor, I will simply log the exception through the application inside uh, uh, um, library. So I do that in the log exception method and there I use uh, the telemetry client to track uh, an exception rather than uh, an event. When I track an exception, I can provide the exception, a bunch of custom properties, which is my custom dictionary, as well as a bunch of custom metrics, which is still a custom dictionary of items with a name, with a key and a double, double value for the metric that I want to store. By doing that, and by doing a flash to be sure that I will uh, flash all the uh, information uh, to the application inside instance, I will be able to have my tracking information in the application inside uh, UI. And I will also be able to read this information using either Power BI, Visual Studio, or the REST API, or the continuous extraction of information. This is really powerful and useful whenever you want to do proper monitoring and the aggregates of your uh, solutions. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.